classical gas. This is probably the most requested and one of the one of the tougher classical songs, classical songs, mo modern like instrumental tunes out there that you can play for fingerstyle guitar. If you can play this, you can play eh, pretty much anything, or at least get to where you can play pretty much anything. And this is going to be a long lesson because there are a lot of parts to this to this song, but I have the tab for you. You can go to natesavage.com. The link is in the description below to download that. It's as accurate as I could get it. I did change a few little things here and there to make it a little easier to play and uh, to just suit my own style a little bit, but most of it, probably 95, 98% of it, is what is on the album. So before we dig into this, I just want to encourage you there's a lot of stuff here. So take this one little section at a time. That's how I'm gonna teach it. Like, you know, and four or eight bar phrase at a time. And you could break it down even further than that into just one measure at a time so you can get it down. There's a lot of repetition, so once you get the main parts down, it'll come pretty quick, but um, it is a lot of stuff. If you wanna see the full, full performance of this, just skip to the end of the video, like the last three minutes of it. You can see that there. And if you need any help with this or any other finger style stuff, you can always schedule a private lesson one-on-one -on -one with me via Skype, Google Hangouts, FaceTime, whatever you like at natesavage.com. That link is below too. Let's get into it. So our first phrase is this. Okay, so it starts off on an A minor. You have an A minor on then you hit your thumb. And uh, by the way, all of the fingerings are on the tab. They're just suggestions, so you can use whatever fingers you like for your picking hand. So on the B string, you have open and then hammer on and then pull off. And I like to hit the uh, open G string here at the same time with it just to thicken it up some. It's not always done on the original, but you hit that, open first. <laughs> and then hammer on to first fret on that B string and then off again, your thumb, index finger, and middle finger, grab those three notes on the, the A, G, and B string. So, and then index finger back down on the B string, first fret, and then the second fret of the G string. And then your thumb on the A string, and then hit the G and B strings again together, and then <laughs> thumb on the A string again, and then let off on your first string and just hit the um, the G and B strings open this time. So that's the first measure. And then you have this walk down on the next measure. It's pretty simple. It's just uh, thumb, index, middle, thumb, index, middle, and then thumb. Index. So the frets there are just, it's a G chord, you switch to a G chord, just a regular G, E string, D string, G string, walk down, second finger, second fret of the E, same thing, G, E string, D string, G string, and then you're on an E minor now, and you just have your thumb on the low E string, and your index finger on the D string. So, so those two measures. slower then you have a little single note line and the way I play that is just open B string middle finger second fret of the G string with my index finger on this hand uh, it doesn't really matter which <laughs> finger you hit with on this on your fretting hand then open G string then back to the second fret of the G string open B, and then back to the second fret of the G. So. And then you have this little kind of do 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 It's pretty easy, you just go back to an A minor and play thumb, index, middle on the A, D, and G strings twice, and then just thumb and index. So that's the main phrase uh, for starting out. You played that four times, and then there's a second ending the last time you play it through. And I'm not, um, I kind of skipped the really free-flowing slow intro part of this, just because if you can play this part of it, you can play that part of it too. It's a lot, it's pretty easy. It's almost the same thing, it has some variations on it. But here is that whole first phrase. And here is the second ending for the fourth time through. 
that's the first bar of it. All you do is play kind of, it's kind of a, like an A2 chord. We can think of it, it's, it's still like an A minor fill there. But you're just rolling up on that A, D, G, and B strings. Then you move to a G chord, you have just the low E with your thumb. Then the G string with open with your index finger, B string open with your middle finger, and then the first fret of the B string. So. The next measure starts our next little phrase, and it starts off on the A minor chord. Just the A, G, and B strings. And then you have a G over B, which is just a G chord, but you're just playing the A string, the G string, and the B string with that uh, third fret there. So you're playing kind of this version, but not having the root note in the bass, the B in the bass instead, so. And then back to that B to finish that measure. And then you come hit a C chord, just the top three notes of a C chord with your first, second, third fingers. And then thumb on the open G string. And then I play the second fret with my pinky, sorry, third fret with my pinky there. And my middle finger. And then move to an A minor chord. And then to the third fret of that A of that B string, and then the second fret that I'm already holding out for that A minor with my thumb. So that whole phrase, those two little measures. Next measure, first finger, first fret of the B string, and then open B string, and then you have an F major. And I just play it like this because I'm only playing the, um, the low E string, the D string, and the G string with these three fingers. And then open D and G string. So. So that whole phrase up to that point. Open D and G strings, and then you have da da da, which is just second fret of the D and G strings, twice, and then the open D and G strings. So one more time, that phrase all the way up to that point. The okay, next phrase goes back to an A minor, and you hit your open A and your uh, G strings together with these two fingers, thumb and middle, and then you roll up D, G, and B strings. But instead of having uh, your index finger down for that A minor, let it, A minor let it off, and you're just gonna play that open, that B string, so. Then move to a G. And what you do there is just low E string, Open G, open B, and then first fret of the B. So, so that measure. Then next measure, go back to an A minor. Just roll up on the A, G, and B strings, just a normal A minor. And then you move to a G over B and roll up on the A, G, and B strings. So. And then you have, again, the B with your thumb and just the open G with your index finger. So that measure. So that's that little two bar phrase. Okay, the next phrase is one of the more challenging ones. There's lots of quick chord changes. You move to a C major and go and that's kind of the pattern throughout this and most of this uh, phrase. So C major, thumb on the A string, third finger, high E string, and then roll down middle on the B string, first finger on the G string. So that's your pattern. After that, move to an F major. Same exact pattern, but your thumb comes up to the fourth string. Move to a D, then you have the exact same pattern. 
then move to a G, exact same pattern. And then you kind of move to an E major chord, but the pattern, it really isn't a chord shape, it's this right here. So you hit the low E string, and the fourth fret of the high E string with your first finger, and then the open B string. And I use my um, third, and, uh, third and second fingers there, just because the space is so uh, wide there. It's a little bit easier for me to get that. So, now same pattern, just move up the note on the high E string one fret with your middle finger. And then and on the for this phrase and with your pinky on the seventh fret. Okay, now the finger twister part, the course, it's this right here. And that's as far as we'll go, that first phrase and at least for now, and just get this down. So the, the idea is to plant your index finger on the fifth fret of the top three strings, and that's kind of gonna be your home base. And you play, uh, get set up there, and then your pinky comes up here to the eighth fret for the first little part. You play the open A string, because we're just basically playing an A minor chord right here, so. And I like to keep my third finger set up here on the seventh fret, because we're gonna need it here as soon as we hit these four strings. A, G, B and high E strings, and then play seven on the high E, five on the high E, then eight on the B, then the open A string again, then back to the fifth fret of the high E. And I like to kind of roll up when I'm doing this, just for some style. And then after that, you have to Leave your index finger, I like to leave it just because it keeps me set up for the next phrases. And I put my second and third fingers down on the seventh fret of the G and B strings and play those. Once you play those two notes on the seventh fret, play the open D string, and then your hand is already set up to get the notes you need for the next couple little notes here. Uh, play the top two strings with your first and second fingers and then the fifth fret. Oh, sorry, the seventh fret of the G and B strings. And then back to the top two strings. And then let off of the pressure on the seventh fret and play just the G and B strings on the fifth fret. That's why you need to keep your uh, index finger barring those notes the whole time. So that whole first little phrase. And then after you hit those two um, fifth frets, with your first and second fingers, you just play the open A string, and then with your thumb, and then the fifth fret of the G. So that whole first little phrase. I know that's a lot, but just work it out one little note at a time, and you'll get it. It'll uh, start to become more natural. Uh, the next two phrases are similar, but quite a bit different at the same time, so let me go over those now. The next phrase starts out the exact same way. Once you hit that open D string, you have to put your pinky down on the seventh fret. Sorry, the eighth fret of the B string and play the B and G string. The G string's already being fretted on the seventh fret. And then you have the high E and the B strings with your index finger and middle finger. And then back to your thumb and your index and middle finger on just the D, G, and B strings and then let off the pressure except for the fifth fret and play those two notes, the top two notes with your index finger and middle finger. So that whole second phrase will be. Third phrase of this type starts off the exact same way, so the first measure. Once you get to that open D though, it changes a bit. You have to play the seventh fret of the G string, which is already being fretted. And with your middle finger, uh, sorry, first finger, and then your pinky comes up and grabs the eighth fret with your third finger, and you have a pull off to the fifth fret. So you have, and then your eighth fret of your B string with your pinky, then the fifth fret of the uh, high E string. And then you, this is where it gets really interesting. You come down here to play a G chord. We'll get to that in a second though, because that's kind of the starting of the next phrase. But this phrase all together, this last one. One more time.
sound a little bit slower. Okay. And here comes another one of those fast uh, chord change phrases too. I said we're going down to a G chord, so let's do that. And all you do is uh, play the outside two strings, the high E string, and the low E string with your thumb and middle finger, sorry, third finger, and, and then roll down with the other finger. So high E string, B string, G string with your third, second, and first fingers. Just rolling down. And then move to a C chord, thumb changes to the root note there. Just roll down the same pattern, just the bass note changes, so. Now an F chord. Sometimes I do the low F there, sometimes I do this. So sometimes I hit the bass note on the low E, sometimes I hit it on the D string, it really just depends what you want to do. Uh, so G, C, F, and then I play a, a B flat seven, but we stop short, we don't have three notes descending, we just play the high E and B strings. So all that together. And after that B7, that or the B flat seven, you have the open A string, and then you're gonna come over here and grab the third fret of the D and high, uh, B strings, and those are gonna be the notes you need to hold down kind of for the rest of this next uh, phrase. And you have open A, and then the D, B, and high E strings with your first, third, and second, and third fingers. And it's a hard spread right there, it's a little bit awkward. And the next one, you play the open A again, and then you switch to just the top three strings. Same thing, open A, top three strings, open A, top three strings. And then you change the chord here. When we go to the last little thing to round out this phrase, you just put your middle finger down on the second fret of the uh, G string, and you just roll up. So this is a lot to think about. Here is uh, the whole thing slowly from the G chord, so. Then you have the little instrumental break. And then it, um, I guess this would be like the, the, the first big chunk of the song done. I would work on that and then move on to the next part maybe. And uh, let's go ahead and get into that. This is what I would consider to be like the bridge of the tune. And it, the first phrase goes like this. Okay, so that's what we're gonna work on now. And it's all based off of an A minor, so that's gonna be your home base. So it starts off the same way as the beginning of the song, you know the So same thing there, so. But once you get there, it starts deviating a little bit, so. All you're gonna do is put your pinky down on the third fret of the B string and then roll up A, D, G, B strings. And then take your pinky off, leave your A minor there. A string, G string, B string. Let your index finger off. A string, G string, B string. And then just the A string and the G string. So that's the first phrase. Okay, and the second phrase is very similar, but it does change a little bit. So start off the same way on the A minor. From there, you just uh, lift your index finger off and roll up all four strings, A, D, G, and B strings. After that, just roll up the A, D, and G strings, and then let off your third finger off of that G string and play the G string open. And then the last little bit is just A, D, G, D strings. So the second phrase, Next phrase starts off the exact same way. From there you just roll up. Let me make sure your index finger is off so you have that B string open. And then A, G, B strings with your index finger back on. And then A, D, G strings with a pinky down on the third fret. And then just the open A and the second fret of the G that's already being fretted. So this third phrase is just...
So that whole little group, first little sentence of the bridge is. Then we have something that's very classical feeling is this right here. And the, the pattern here is gonna be a uh, thumb and middle finger on the B string. And your pinky, I use my pinky and second finger, or uh, third finger to play the fifth fret of the G and B strings. So thumb and middle, index, and then middle again. So that's the main pattern. Then scooch down to where your index finger is on the third fret of the B and your middle finger is on the fourth fret of the G. Do the same pattern. Then slide that down to where your index finger is on the first fret of the B and middle finger is on the second fret of the G. Same pattern. Then let off those fingers and same exact pattern, both all open strings. And then you have this little phrase, so put kind of your A minor back on, you can think about it like that. And it's just the second fret of the G, open B, first fret of the B, and then open B again. And I do a hammer on and pull off on that, I only play pick, pick, and then hammer on, pull off. So that whole thing slowly. This is, uh, leads us into like the second half of the bridge, which uh, feels a lot like Bach to me. It starts off on a C chord. So put your C chord on and I uh, fret, also fret the third fret of the B string with my pinky. And uh, here's the pattern for this. Outer two strings with thumb and third finger. Then middle finger grabs the B string, back to the high E string. Then take your pinky off and play just the first fret of the B string with your middle finger. Then thumb again on the A string. Then index finger on the G string. The middle finger on the fret, the B string. And then um, open as well, so. Then this is where you move to the next chord, you go to a G over B, but you have to have your index finger back here on the high E string to first fret. And here's the pattern. A string with your thumb, G string with the index finger, middle finger, B string, back to the G string, and here your third finger comes up here and grabs the high E string that you're fretting. Then you pull off, and then just hit the uh, B and G strings again, so. That's it for that G over B, and then you move to an A minor chord, but your pinky is gonna grab the third fret of the B string too. That's your setup for this one. And that's what you're gonna play. You play the A and high E string together, then the B string, back to the high E string. Then let off of uh, your B string with your pinky and hit that with your middle finger, so. And then back to the A string. Index finger on the G, middle finger on the high E, or the B string, and then open B. So it's a little bit tricky. And that's the point where the next chord change comes in, which is just a regular G, you know, G over B this time. Your lowest note is a G note. But on this G chord, you do need to have your pinky on the third fret of the B string, and your index finger needs to be ready to come get this uh, first fret of the high E string again. That's where you're gonna play, so. Low E string, G string, B string, and then your index finger plays the high E string, pull off, then back to the B, back to the G, so. So that's the main phrase, you play that twice, but there's a second ending the second time around. So let me play the whole thing for you one time through and then we'll talk about how it's different the second time. Okay, 
Okay, second time through. And now here comes something familiar. This is the second ending for this. Instead of going something like that, you just go do the walk down again. Same exact walk down we had earlier, so G. So that walk down, as soon as you go, then you get back into this line. Okay, it's the exact same line as before. But once you end up on this D string on the second fret, you have a new phrase that's pretty quick. This is probably one of the quickest phrases of the whole thing, and it really moves through these chords quickly. And here's the pattern. Uh, the picking pattern is just thumb and middle, and then index by itself. And what you're gonna do is play an A minor, A and G strings together, and then the D string. Then move to a G over B, move your fingers out to where your uh, thumb is on, still on the A string, but your middle and index fingers are on the um, open B and G strings, so. Then you move to an A minor and keep your fingers kind of where they are on those strings set up so you have the thumb on the fifth string, A, and then your middle finger on the B, index finger on the G. Then you have another G over B, you set up the same way. Then you move to a C and your fingers move to the outside two strings, the high E and B strings, and that's your setup kind of for the rest of this phrase. You move to a C, thumb stays on the fifth string, move to an F, the thumb moves over to the fourth string, these two fingers stay on top, move to a D, same setup, then you move to a G, thumb comes down to the sixth string. So this is really fast, the pattern here is A minor, G over B, A minor, G over B, uh, C, F, D, G. So here it is, A minor, G over B, A minor again, G over B, C, F, D, G, and then we come back to the same exact phrase as earlier. And then you go back into the phrase, the whole section. But this time, when you, once you reach that point, it's all the same up to there, you just strum backwards like that to end that phrase. All right, on to the main last section. Uh, there's a lot of repeating here, but the end switches a little bit different. It starts out the same way as kind of the beginning of the tune with the whole. So you do that twice. But here on the second ending, you go for the whole. Once you reach this part, nothing different here is you already know these parts. Once you reach that F and you have that little, this is where it changes the order of things change here. You have, instead of going into the other part, you go into this. And instead of going to da 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 you have a different phrase to end the tune with. So if you're doing this, instead of going to this, you just go and you hit your uh, fifth fret of the high E string. So after you hit that fifth fret, you come grab this third, uh, with your third finger, the seventh fret of the D string, which you're playing just kind of this A ship. Twice with your thumb and then collapse your third finger over to play what would be like a D. And then move down to a G shape and just uh, roll up the D string, B string, and high E strings. And then kind of the same thing, clap your, collapse your third finger down to play a C chord and play that um, D string twice with your thumb. And then index finger, middle finger, get again the G and B strings. And then do the same thing, come down here and play this F shape, just roll up the D, B, and high E strings with your thumb first and middle finger, and then collapse to play this B flat. D string twice with your thumb and then G and B strings with their first and second fingers. And then once you hit that, you just hit the open A string 
and then this chord right here, which is like a, a D minor nine kind of uh, kind of feel. So I'm gonna play that whole phrase for you, starting here. And after that, all you have is this little rolling pattern. So that pattern is just A, D, G, B, high E, back to the B, G, D, G, B, D. Then you do the kind of the same pattern, you just, instead of having this, you move up to where your index finger is on the second fret of the G, your third finger moves up to the fourth fret of the D, and your middle finger is on the third fret of the B string, kind of the same pattern. down an A chord. So I know that's a lot to get down, um, but there are a lot of important things here that uh, this song will help you develop. If I uh, were to practice nothing but this song, it would take me at least two weeks to get down. It took me several months to get this down because I was working on it kind of sporadically. But it does take a lot of time, but it's worth it because you're going to be developing a lot of skills you need. So that's it for this lesson. Don't forget um, all the tabs and sheet music you can find in the link below at nesavage.com. Uh, let me know in the comments below what's your favorite fingerstyle or classical tune that you want to learn. Also, thumbs up if you like fingerstyle music. Thumbs down if you're into neoclassical, self-indulgent, shredding, and wanking. Just kidding, I love both of those styles of music. I'm always kind of torn between the two. Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.